Hey everyone, so this is um, what we're going to be covering today during core support and you should find yourselves on page five and it looks like this, the page five right there. Okay, um, before we actually take a look at that, you should be on the right page, but before we even like kind of explore that, I want to go ahead and take a look at this circle. It's supposed to be a circle. It's a circle. Okay, so pretend it's a circle pretend it's a circle. And um, in every circle, there's 360 degrees in there. And I have this little point right there in the middle. That signifies the center of the circle, okay, because it's really a circle, I swear. Um, there's a couple of words I want you to know and familiarize yourself with circles. And let's see, the first word I want you to know is circumference, okay? Circumference. And I would get these always confused, like circumference, radius, diameter, blah, blah, blah. I would get that confused quite a bit. So I thought of a way, like, how do you make these a little easier? Circumference, what does it start with? What letter? Oh, yeah, the letter C. So circumference is found like this. Oh, look, it's the letter C. Circumference is the distance all the way around a circle. See how that formed the letter C? So yeah, all the way around the circle is the circumference. You know, it's it's really the perimeter, but since it's a circle, it's like super special. We don't call it a perimeter. It's called the circumference, okay? The next word I want you to know is diameter. And this is my creepy one. This is the one where I have like a creepy way to remember it, okay? So if you've ever seen like, I don't know, like a scary movie or like uh, maybe like you're doing something naughty and your mom looks at you and then she gives you that look and then she might go like this. Okay. Well, when I do this to help myself remember what a diameter is in a circle, I go like this. Diameter. Diameter. Okay. Your diameter. So the diameter is a distance all the way across through the center. Okay. So that's a diameter. And you can like diameter this way, like all the way through the center. Those are all diameters. It's all the way across through the center of the circle. Okay? So that's what a diameter is. And then the other one is radius. I don't really have like a special way to remember that. Nothing really creative. Just remember this one. Radius. Ooh, I can't open that. So uh, radius, I mean, you see how it's kind of like a shorter word? It's shorter. It's like halfway the side, halfway... Um, the length of diameter. See that? How it's like when I wrote it, I'm like, okay, diameter is like twice as long as when I write out radius. So a ra radius is like from here to here. It's half the diameter. So this cute little guy right there, that's a radius. That guy from there, there's a radius. From here to here, that's a radius. From there to there, that's a radius. Okay, it's got to go through the center. It's like got to meet at the center. Okay, so like right here could be a radius. All right? And in one particular circle, the diameters would be the same no matter where you drew them as long as you go through the center. And all the radius lengths would also be the same as long as you hit the center from the outside, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at page five. Now, do you remember these three? Double check yourself and make sure you know what the circumference is, what the diameter is, and what the radius is, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at page five. All right, so here we have page five, which mine's on the whiteboard. And the gist of what's written on your paper, I didn't write every little thing down because I just, I'm writing on a whiteboard. I don't want to write it all down. Um, it says, here are two circles. Their centers are A and F. I'm reading off your paper, or my paper. That looks like your paper. So A and F, those are the centers. So that's right smack dab in the middle. And in your picture that you have on your paper, those circles are like, they look, the same, they're like the same size and everything. Mine, I tried my best, but this one's a little off, or they're just, they don't match, okay? But yeah, pretend, use your imagination, pretend they're the same size, because they're supposed to be. I just had a little trouble drawing it, okay? And this is what's the same. So again, I'm telling you, they're the same, okay? What is the same specifically? Take a second and analyze what the heck is the same, okay? If it helps you organize your stuff, I just put like kind of like a section here for what we can write about them being the same and then what we can write about them being different. Here's the first thing I wrote. Well, they're both circles, so they're round figures without corners or straight sides. 
That's what a circle is. Since the circles are the same in this particular example, we should also note that, note that they have the same radius length. So like there, there, they'd have the same radius length. They'd have the same diameter length. There, 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 there. And the same circumference length. Okay. So what are their differences? What's the difference here? You might have said something about, well, they have different letters representing those points. Um, something that really stood out to me was, well, this one has more segments drawn on it than this one. Number two, what's the length of segment AD? So we got to find AD. Okay, AD. A to D. Oh, what's that called? It's a radius. So what's the radius length on this guy? Well, since this right here is a radius, because they told us A is the center. So from the outside to the center, boom, it's four centimeters. So from A to D, that's also four centimeters. Take a second, make sure that makes sense to you, okay? Can you think of another segment that is also four centimeters? Write it down. Yes, write it down on your paper. Yes, you. Okay, thanks. So other segments that are also four centimeters, uh, we got AD, we got EA. Yeah, okay. Um, AB. Um, we got CA because it's labeled. How about over here? Do you see anything else that would be four centimeters? Yeah, HF, FG. I might have missed one, but yeah, get the gist of it. Those are all radii. That's when you have more than one radius, so radii, okay? Those are all radii. Number three, on the first circle, what segment is a diameter? How long is it? So look on there, which one's the diameter? Tell the person next to you. Yeah, you should have said segment EB, or I guess you can call it BE, I don't care. Same thing to me. So a uh, segment, whoop, segment EB, whoops, that is not an E, EB. This means segment when it's written above that, okay? Segment EB is the diameter. And how long is it? Well, if right here is four centimeters, that's a radii, radius. Here's a radius, here's a radius. Well, what's four centimeters plus four centimeters? Eight centimeters, yeah, that's the diameter. Okay. Now, if you've got additional time in this group, what I want you to do is turn to page seven, okay? On page seven, number two, I want you to do, what's that say, A and B. Tell me which one, which, um, segments represent the diameter and which segments represent the radius, okay? And check with your team. 